Toast is a non-modal dialogue that appears and disappears in a span of a few seconds and is also known as snack bar and desktop notifications. By their nature, they're non-critical messages that don't force the user to react immediately to the notification by automatically fading away or disappearing within a few seconds. I'm is right. Disappear. I was inspired by this idea by the Google Chrome dev team. This was a creative mock-up challenge where they created this stacking interface of Toast. So I created this spin on Toast that's more interactive and works for kind of a creative about page or portfolio idea. I was able to do this with just a few lines of JavaScript and some CSS. Whereas the Google Developers Teams mock-up had hundreds of lines of JavaScript. So this is something that with some simple CSS and a few lines of JavaScript can create really fast. We can start by setting up a blank HTML document. That's exclamation point tab if you're using VS Code. And from there we can go ahead and we're just going to put inline styles in the head for this example and set some body styling um, some basic margining zero box sizing border boxing to even some things out here for us a uh, font family of sans serif and color white with a background of black we're going to set the image to responsive so that we can fit to that first we're going to have a two column so that image on the left will be 100% width with the object fit cover set a minimum height of 100 vh just for this example to fill the space so our grid is going to have a two column display grid using the grid template column 1fr 1fr fr for fractions so that'll give us the the split layout we're looking for. That second grid can easily be centered by display grid and centering the content using justify content center align content center. It's a nice trick there. So we'll get our HTML going and from there we're going to do our outside display grid column two and then first column we just have a style of grid as a placeholder. Second column there on the right will Call it grid about we can add in our image tag source from unsplash and our h1 content the about content we can add in our anchor tag using the on click function so from here we should have some working content we'll take a look at it and refresh the page and see where we're at okay so we have our two two column layout coming together we can continue with adding the styling for our toast the grid about a tag and give it a color of white just so that it stands out like the rest of the type there we can add our placeholder ID with snack bar container which is going to hold our appended P tags and just putting that above the body could also put that in the body as well We'll get some styles going for that. Trick here for being able to get around having to do a lot of extra JavaScript is this simple position fixed. Pull the content down to the bottom of our, our page so that it comes off the bottom. And then some basic padding. We'll have P tags that'll append to that ID of snack bar container. We'll give that some, some size. Then we're going to have the P tags be called snack bar and actually hide them for a, just a brief second and so that they have a, an opacity as they load in. Kind of an interesting effect to, we have about going about that and we could also add another function in to make them disappear off the page but I'm just letting them run off the page for now. Uh, this class of snack bar show give it its visibility as it's loading on the page. We can start our script now down at the bottom also doing inline styles and get our function from our on click a tag move forward we're using the array literal syntax here to just iterate over some different options we're calling them quotes const quotes 
and then we'll do our const random index so that it indexes using the uh, the math floor function and the math random function and the generator to grab the quotes and and count over the links iterate over the links this gives us a floating point to randomly iterate over the links and we're going to put that in a again a const called index and then from there we're going to make a const called random quotes which will grab that that math basically and apply it to these actual context words so once we have random quotes we'll console log that and take a look and see how that's looking we can click on here and we should start seeing the consoles show up and they're just randomly iterating through right now so now we just have to append them to the page so now we can create the p tag by doing a, a create element javascript we're going to call it l and then L class, we're gonna give it snack bar, and that's gonna be that hidden class for now. So we'll make it hidden on, on load, and then when it does load, it'll have a, an opacity transition. So now we can get the elements. We have to make sure that we're labeling where we're putting that, that P tag of L of a very var l and we're gonna call it y and then we can say l inner html random quote so now we have our our inner html of l our p tag tied to our random quote indexing so now we can append that to the page and we should start seeing some content here if we refresh test that out no nope, not seeing content yeah. So it looks like it is going to need this function of show obviously yeah cuz we're not al we're not allowing it to show yet because it is invisible. So go back over there. It's just not visible cuz we haven't applied the class to it yet. So we can see them here and they're hidden right now. The opacity set to 0. So now we're going to to give it that loading transition that you're seeing well right right there right it was there somewhere anyway to give it that loading transition now we'll add the show simply by adding the function show and then having that l class now change to snack bar show so we're just going to change the whole class over to visible to visible with an opacity of eight and then we're going to use that function in a, a set timeout function and so that it creates that loading effect so let's see what that looks like now and there we go we have our seems to be something glitched there for a second we have our loading text um, everything's looking good we have a responsive style it's not set for for mobile but that's an, an easy element to to definitely tackle by setting mobile first media query around the the grid and, and then everything should stack as it the divs will display blocks so all right that should take care of toast and being creative trying something new